Hello cartoon watchers of the internet, I'm your cartoon and animation fanatic Channel Hopper, and the channels I hop through are good enough to review. DuckTales 2017 is a reboot of the classic 1980s cartoon of the same name, and features our memorable cast of adventurous ducks that we all know and love. But if the new Powerpuff Girls 2016 has taught us anything, it's that a reboot is just an unnecessary revival of a once outstanding program in an attempt to appeal to a new audience. So when the series was first announced, the big question on everyone's mind was, will it be a success, or are we better off forgetting this and hope that the studio will get it right the next time? Well, on August 12th, we got our answer. Just like the original series, the show focuses on the misadventures of Donald Duck's three mischievous nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, who are now under the watchful eye of their multi-trillionaire uncle Scrooge McDuck. As the theme song puts it, life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg, as every day is a new adventure of searching for treasure and escaping the dangers that come with it. While the story seems pretty much the same, the overall execution of it is definitely a step up as demonstrated in the hour-long premiere entitled Woo Ooh. Okay, I'll go with it. Here we see Donald Duck dropping off his nephews with his Uncle Scrooge who's more of a recluse now than the outspoken owner of a billion dollar company. So the boys go in search of some excitement and come across another familiar character named Webigail who lives with her granny at McDuck Manor and is interested in learning all about the family of Scrooge McDuck. She takes them to Scrooge's treasure room which later turns out to be his garage and they unintentionally release a variety of cursed artifacts and now must help their uncle save his money bin. This episode was well paced and had a great climactic finale with plenty of great visuals and comedic moments. The ending also ties into part 2 of the premiere with Donald Duck now working for a familiar villain named Flinthard Glomgord, who coincidentally is looking for Atlantis just like Scrooge and the others are. Hopefully it's not this Atlantis that they're looking for. While part 1 had a much faster pace to introduce the characters and get Scrooge back in the game, here we get a chance to slow down and get to know everyone in the group, such as Huey is a planner and by the books kinda guy, as hinted by his use of the itinerary and the famous Junior Woodchuck guidebook. Dewey is pretty much the opposite as he's more daring and prefers to take action rather than planning. Feeling more impulsive, he changes the directions on the map to cut across more dangerous territories. Uncle Scrooge tries to keep Dewey safe and teaches him that adventuring isn't about facing danger, but how to avoid it. And while that goes on, Louie tries to teach Webby how to lie in order to keep her granny from worrying about her. So it's a race to see who gets to the treasure of Atlantis first, and along the way they come across the usual traps and eventually meet up with Glomgord and his crew, as well as getting trapped in the treasure vault of the city. Now Dewey may be impetuous, but he is quick thinking as he manages to find a way out of the traps and they get home safely. So the execution of the story was great, but what about the characters? Well, if you know me, I'm not a fan of reboots, so I immediately thought they were going to modernize these characters with pop culture references and dated slangs, but to my surprise, the new voice work and personalities are definitely an improvement compared to their old ones, such as the old Scrooge McDuck was mainly driven by his urge to make more money through business deals and collecting rare artifacts, However, David Tennant Scrooge already has a lot of money and seems to be more invested in the journey of the adventure rather than making a profit. Donald Duck now plays a bigger part in the show aside from his usual temper tantrums and is no longer in the Navy but instead is just looking for another job, which gives him more screen time and allows him to tag along with his nephews on their adventures. As Donald attempts to drop off his nephews at their uncle's place, it would seem that he has some negative emotions towards Scrooge as he's more concerned with what he'll do versus what his nephews will do. Speaking of the nephews, they also got some much needed changes to their personalities. I mean, let's be honest here, I couldn't tell these three apart from their first show without them reminding me who's who. Luckily, the series does an excellent job in distinguishing each one from the other, 
For those of you that don't know, I'm a huge fan of Chuck Jones and his method of characterization through posture and movement as mentioned on one of my favorite channels, Every Frame a Painting. In here, each one of them talks, acts, and reacts differently. Such as Huey is the leader of the trio, and has anyone ever noticed that the leader always seems to wear some form of the color red or a headpiece of some kind? But more importantly, he's well organized and he's the only one who follows the guide of being a junior woodchuck, thus making him smarter than the other two. He's always cautious before acting unlike his brother Dewey who tends to jump headfirst into the adventure. What Dewey lacks in skills, he makes up for in bravery and quick thinking. Considering he's the middle child, many newcomers to the series can relate to this character who simply wants to make a name for himself. He's also invested in learning about what happened to his mom and finding out more about their history. And lastly is Louie, who's considered the evil twin for unknown reasons, but seems to be more lazy and laid back than evil. He has his sarcastic moments, but tries to cheat the system in order to own things the easy way. While the trio may be different in a variety of ways, one thing that they do have in common is their goal to become the successor to their uncle, but go about it in their own special way. With those three aside, let's talk about someone who this group wouldn't be complete without. Webigail, or Webby for short, has had a major change compared to her old girly girl self. Now she's more of a tomboy bursting with energy and a variety of skills to back her up. Many would say that she's just a Mabel clone as she has similar outbursts of excitement just like her and she has her signature grappling hook in the show. But hey, would you rather take this Webigail back? Yeah, didn't think so. So she also seems to be fascinated with Donald Duck and claims that he's the greatest adventurer ever. Though at the moment we only have this portrait to go off of and a few shenanigans from Donald. But we might get more of his past later down the line. As for Launchpack McQuack, he's now been reassigned as McDuck's chauffeur and is pretty similar to his previous incarnation. Lastly is Mrs. Beakley who seems to be a much tougher housekeeper with a lot more sass than the old Mrs. Beakley. Aside from our main cast of characters, there's also some familiar side characters along with some memorable villains such as Flinhart Glomgold, Magic of Dispel, and Ma Beagle and the Beagle Boys, but we'll get more into them later on. For now, let's move on to the new art style of the show as well as the animation. So as you can tell, the series takes on a new art direction from traditional to computer animation and seems to pay more tribute to the comic books. And is it me or is there more and more shows being animated like a comic book? The amount of details in the scenes are simply a delight as well as the callbacks to the comics and possibly upcoming episodes. Before moving on, I just want to mention how great the new introduction is. While the old theme will always be stuck in my head, the new one done by Felicia Barton isn't too bad either. Especially near the end of the song with everything just speeding by and coming to a climactic finish. The animation in the scene is just bursting off the page with creativity, both literally and figuratively speaking. From the characters facing danger on each panel of the comic to them speeding off the pages onto the title itself was well executed and visually pleasing. I also like the showcasing of the villains all after Scrooge's number one dime. There's so much happening in the background and the foreground that makes you just want to revisit the scene again just to catch everything that goes by. While I'm alright with the new animation and the artwork that the show is performed in, I'm more interested in the story as well as how they will develop these characters along the way. Such as Donald Duck is portrayed as the greatest adventurer early in his life and the triplet's mother, Della Duck, seems to play a part in it as well. Other than a few name drops in the comic books, there's not much to go off of for Della Duck. Matt Youngberg and his team have also hinted at a possible cameo of St. Canard's own Darkwing Duck. According to some sites, we might also get some cameos from previous DuckTale characters such as Gizmo Duck as well as reimaginings of original episodes. And that's all I have to go off of with this show, so let's move on to my final verdict. Overall, I like the new direction the show is going with. The characters are a step up from their previous incarnations and the show still retains some of the charm of the old DuckTales cartoon. 
My only issue so far that there seems to be too much plot elements at the moment, such as Magico's role in the series as well as Gyro, and not to mention the Duck family history as well. All of these plot points might clutter the storyline later down the road. And that was DuckTales 2017. And I have to say, this is by far one of, if not the best way to do a reboot. The story is enticing, the characters are funny, and the style is a good modern spin on a once classic cartoon show. Definitely something worth watching again. Let me know what you all thought about the show in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Channel Hopper, and the next review is just a click away.